How's it going music video directors, editors, and shooters? Today I'm gonna be going over how to do dope effects like Cole Bennett, just like this. So yeah, we've all seen those effects from Cole Bennett with his music videos with Famous Dex, Lil Pump, and artists like that. So there's not too many tutorials on those and most of them are in After Effects. I'm gonna teach you a super simple way how to do these right in Premiere. So let's get into it. All right, so this tutorial is mainly geared towards Premiere Pro. Uh, make sure you have the most updated version because I'm gonna be using some of the tracking tools within Premiere. So I'm gonna use this clip of a drone shot of a pool. I've seen this in Cole Bennett's music videos before. So I'm just gonna take that little piece right there. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the pen tool under opacity right there. I'm gonna draw four little squares. See, if I really wanted to, I could color key this out because it's blue, but this honestly works with anything. This could be a person, a dog. It could be any shape, really. It could be a basketball rolling. And then we have to make sure we're at the beginning of our timeline here, and then just click the play button. So what this is gonna do, this is gonna go through and it's gonna track the entire clip. As you can see, it's tracking with the pool. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I find Premiere pretty good at doing this. So let's stop that and let's see how it looks. What I'm gonna do now is, I forgot to do this, you're just gonna duplicate it. So I just held the Alter Option key and I just dragged up. So on the bottom layer, let's go ahead and delete that mask. And then let's turn this off. Let's see how it looks. All right, so it stops like halfway through, but I don't need to do the full thing. Cool, so now what I'm gonna do is, you can really drag any effect, but a cool effect I like to use is the HLS color balance. We're gonna drag that on. And then let's go ahead and animate this. To right about there, cool. And then so what this is gonna do is kind of cycle through the colors with a keyframe. So just kick, click that little keyframe button and circle the hue to whatever you want. And then now I'm just gonna feather, oh, I don't need to keyframe that. Uh, I'm just gonna feather that out a little bit and then expand it just a little bit. As you notice in Cole Bennett's music videos, when he cuts things out, they're not perfect because they flash on the screen very fast. You don't need it to look perfectly crisp for everything. A lot of these music videos, there's a lot going on. The only time people could tell that it's not perfectly cut out is that they pause your music video and really break it down shot by shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and render this out and let's see how it works. Look at that, we got a party pool. That's pretty tight, look at that. There's a lot of other things you can do. You don't just have to use the HSL effect. You could put, let's say if you have the Red Giant plugins. Wait, oh, I deleted my, there we go. There we go. You don't just have to use uh, the HLS effect. You could also use animated footage. So I'm gonna scale this up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy over this mask. Going to paste it. Yep. I'm gonna delete this mask, I believe. Yes. Scale the frame size. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, what we can do is we can play with the feathering cause this looks a little bit different. We can actually feather it. We just gotta expand it a little bit more. Awesome, check that out. So, I mean, that works. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, oh, it's because we're zooming in and that's zooming out. So what we could do is we could go speed duration reverse that oh no that didn't work oh wait it did work but let's take this mask off speed duration reverse it and then paste paste the mask back on there we go that looks a little bit better it's not perfect but that's and then you could also play with that and you can make it blend in a little bit more if you can learn how to track something in premiere you can pretty much create any type of cole bennett effect uh, that's basically what his effects consist of 
All you really have to do if the track messes up, you can go in here, you can delete some of these keyframes, and you can tap right here and you can move it wherever you want to try and fix it. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to comment right now. Let me know what you thought. Make sure to like it and subscribe. Make sure to check out Wolf Talk Wednesdays. I answer all the questions you guys ask right there. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.